welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. And so today we're going to do something really very glowy. So today my concentration will only be on base since I really want a very glowy, very fresh and uh, very uh, glow from within kind of a look. The eye makeup and everything is going to be very simple but my concentration is on base today. How you can just get a glowy base. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. First, I'm gonna put my hair behind so that it doesn't come in the middle of the way. Then I'm gonna start using the toner, the plum toner, with on a piece of a cotton. I'll just take two drops of it and I'll just tone my hair. After the toner, I'm going to be using the Plum E-Luminance Moisturizer. So, I'm going to scrape off from this. I'm just going to take a little bit, like this much amount. Warm it. And then I'm just going to pat this into my skin. I'm gonna let this moisturizer and uh, the toner sit for a while on my face. So after the moisturizer, I'm going to be using the MAC Stroke Cream. And then I'm gonna just take the MAC Stroke Cream on the back of my hand, like just a little amount of it. And I'm gonna apply it all over my face. Since we really need the glow on, like my next two. For this, like, your base is really very important to have a very glowy skin. Glowing my skin really looks right now. Yeah, like, can you see that glow? I'm gonna be priming my face with Ellie Girl Pro HD High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. I'm gonna take a little on the back of my hand, like a very little. Then just warm it between my fingers. I'm going to just put it on the center of my face because I really have large pores on my cheeks. So I need to cover this baby on my nose too. Once that is done, I would move with the foundation. I'm going to be using my Elegol Pro Coverage Foundation. So actually I'm running out of this foundation, like it's the last use I can get. So I'm gonna just open this, remove and throw this because it's just the actual last use. So I'm gonna take a flat brush. I'm gonna literally dig in it. And then just make those lines from whatever I get from the bottom. So this is how much foundation I could scrape off that uh, LA Girl. I would use this beauty sponge by Blue Heaven. Like I would just take the flat side and I would just blend the foundation like really well. dab the foundation so this is how my skin looks I think I need a little bit of coverage so I'm going to be using the wet and wild uh, 
foundation over it a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. It's like not even a half palm. So I'm just gonna be like adding the two lines here, little here, little here, and little here. That's all. Because the sponge soaks a lot of foundation, so yeah, you need a lot of foundation if you're using a sponge, basically. So once, um, how I like my face is looking right now, I'm going to be going to you in the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Sorry, I opened the gap. I'm just going to be applying it into the inner corners and to the outer corners. This is all my lip cream. I'm not going to conceal the center of my face a lot, so I'm just going to conceal the chin because it has a little bit of darkness and around my nose. Again, taking the sponge, I'm just going to be blending the concealer out. So, I'm going to take a pointy side to blend my under eye concealer. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me just uh, to conceal a little bit more and just to highlight my under eyes. Like you said. And now I will just highlight my center of my face. Then blend it with a sponge. I know it looks a little crazy under the eye, but give me two minutes, it'll be all settled. So I'm going to be using uh, the Blue Heaven Sapphire Loose Powder that is just and just to set my under eyes and the center of my face. That's all. No setting the entire face, just my under eyes and the center of my face. So I'm going to be taking that little bit on the sponge with which it comes with. I'm gonna bake a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna bake. So I'm baking my under eyes so that my under eyes do not uh, crease after a certain point. I'm gonna be dusting the center powder away because I don't need to set that that much. And I will let the under eyes sit for a while. Till then, let's just do the eyes quickly. For the eyes, I'm doing nothing crazy. Just using my Makeup Revolution palette. That is the blush, the blush, the highlight and the bronzer palette. So let's just... Oops. So let's just take this bronzer shade on my brush. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. So I think it's been a while that this uh, under eye powder has been uh, sitting. I'm just going to dust that off. So 
So yeah, that is how my under eye actually looks right now. It's really nice. Now I'm going to be taking this blue heaven uh, blue coal pencil. So I'm going to be applying this uh, coal pencil on the outer portion of the eye. That's just on the edges and then smudging it. Like not even halfway through, okay? If we need more, we're gonna add up, but for now we just need that much. Searching for my brush, I'm so sorry, and I'm just going to smudge the edges. If you do not want to use a brush, you can even use a hand. So this I'm going to use it with a hand and I'm going to show it you how do you do it. But yeah, this I'm going to do it with a brush. So my this eye is looking like, can you see? how they are just look really diffused that is how I'm going to do it in the, on the other eye but I'm going to use my hand and I'm going to show you you can do it with a hand too if you don't have a brush very gently you have to just move the color back and forth like move your finger back and forth so the product is uh, distributed evenly and uh, see to it that the outer corner is a little deeper than the inner corner. Inner corner you just have to diffuse the colour almost to 70%. There should be only 20% or 30% of the colour in the front and behind. Yeah, it has to be dark but you have to diffuse the edges. Do not forget. Yeah, I think my both the eyes look really, really nice and I'm just going to add a little bit color here and I'm going to be using my finger to diffuse the color this side too. With the finger, I was able to blend much easier than the brush. Like yeah, this is how my eyes really look right now. Okay, now our eyes are done. For brows, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Revolution palette and I will show you today how exactly it looks. How loved this palette is, like... I'm really sorry, but yeah, this is how the palette is loved. I have finished almost these two colors. Little bit what was left in both the colors, I have mixed it with the wax side of the palette. I'm gonna be taking this wax side of the palette, like the deeper one, and I'm gonna be doing my brows. So I will be doing, first I'm just gonna be like, you know, outlining the lower portion. And the upper line just the edges just carving my brows out first then fill in the tail after filling in the tail whatever product is left on the brush you would just go on the uh, front portion of the brow and just deposit the leftover color on the brush in the front of the brow otherwise the brow would look really stark and really into the face kind of a brow and which I remove. Yeah. Filling the sparse areas of my brows. And once you're done filling, you can take a spoolie and just uh, one second, I'll be back. I'll just get my spoolie. I did not find my spoolie, I found my old brow pencil so I'm just going to use this uh, spoolie here I'm just going to brush, always brush your brows upwards So 
somehow I'm in love with the cold pencil. It looks really nice, like in person too, and I'm sure on camera too. So yeah, my one brow is done. I'll just do the other brow and I'll be back. My brows are done, so let's get some color back to the face. And I'm going to be using the same makeup revolution palette. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to be using this bronzer, this blush, and the highlighter. I'm going to be using my favorite. So first, let's just bronze the face. Okay. So yeah, I have not set my face yet with the powder. I'm not going to set it. I've just set my under eyes. My forehead is really small. I do not need uh, bronzing or contouring, but I really like to bronze up my forehead too because it gives a really nice dimension to the face. So yeah, that's how. That's why I really bronze up my forehead too. There's nothing too crazy with the contouring. So yeah, I would take the same brush. I would pinch it a bit, dip into my bronzer. Tap off the excess, yeah. Always tap off the excess. Whatever you use, dig your brush into it and tap off the excess because then you will not deposit uh, a lot of color in one go. You can always build up, right? So yeah. Now I'm going to be contouring my nose, which is a very difficult part, trust me. Because my nose is very weird, very very weird. That's all. And I'm gonna be using the blush, same palette, the blush. Then I'm gonna be taking the blush, tapping off the excess, putting on the cheeks, and then just taking the leftover product behind, all the way till my like ear. Sorry. And I love blush on the nose. I don't know why, but it just gives me a very fuller and flushed look. So, yeah. I'm done with my blush, and now I'm gonna be doing the favorite part. That is my highlighter. My most favorite and most loved highlighter. It's like I've been. Um, anybody asking me for which highlighter should I use I've been suggesting each one of them the same highlighter which I use it is really 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 very nice you have uh, two shades in this so if you are fair to medium kind of skin tone you can use the one which I am using and if you are a little on deeper skin tone you have uh, the other the other variant actually for the deeper skin tone so mine is uh, shimmer brick radiant it's a makeup revolution highlighter I'll show you how much loved it is so yeah it's into two pieces. Can you see like half of my highlighter is even like gone, fallen. But I I have this since like almost a year, year and a half, and I really love this highlighter. So I will not talk a lot and I will show you how does it actually work. So I just uh, take all the colours actually and then just put on the tops of my cheeks. Can you see that glow? That is how much I love this highlighter. I will put this little bit on the temples of my face, on my chin, and yeah, I'm going to be using the same, the first two colors. Sorry. I'm going to be using these first two colors for my inner corner highlight and the brow bone highlight. Since I can't find my brush, I'm going to be using it with my pinky finger.
can see instantly how it brightens up my eye. My eye looks really like a little much more bigger and it looks really nice. So I'm going to do mascara in the end and now I'm going to be using this uh, makeup fixer by Blue Heaven. And I'm going to spray this. And I'm going to spray this uh, all over my face. First I'll just uh, let one or two sprays release. I'm gonna spray from a very long distance, like at least a one arm distance. <laughs> so this fixer has a very bad smell. And then I'm gonna just take my uh, beauty sponge and I'm gonna just dab. So it locks in all my makeup. I'm gonna let this sit for a while, like a minute or two. Yeah, now I'll be doing my uh, mascara, so I'm gonna curl my lashes first. Here we go. I'm gonna keep this for 10 seconds. Ow. Do it on the other eye. Like yeah, I keep pressing it a bit, so it really doesn't, uh, it really curls up my lashes and then I'm going to remove. Then I'm going to be using my mascara, my Maybelline mascara. On my upper and lower lash line both. Last, now I'll be doing my lips with the Wet n Wild uh, lip liner in the shade. Okay, I can't find the shade. If I do find the shade of this, I will put it in the description box. So please do check that out. But that's a very nude uh, lip liner. I've just outlined my lips with the Wet n Wild uh, lip liner and I'm going to be using the lipstick by Faces Canada in the shade uh, Buff Nude. This is one of my favorite nude lipsticks and uh, I got this off Nykaa for I think uh, 230 or 240 when it was in sale. Thanks for watching!